time, our up and down, up and down cold weather carved a big hole in the ground. Yeah, drivers could see right through I-70 near Floyd Hill, that is, once they got through the unbelievable <laughs> backup. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer was one of those drivers trapped in traffic. And Jason, really poor timing as we go into a long ski weekend. Yes, and tough timing at least for those repairs to still be going on at this hour. One lane of I-70 westbound still closed here at the bottom of Floyd Hill as CDOT crews continue to run the jackhammer and try to fix, make those emergency repairs. The good news at this hour, not nearly as many people on the highway, so not those major traffic backups of earlier today, but we're only a few hours away from the start of tomorrow and the big potential traffic jam that normally comes with ski season with a hole in the highway it could be even more problems. Potholes like this are bad, but a closer look in potholes that go through a highway bridge where you can see the waters of the creek below on a busy Friday of mountain traffic, those are really bad. One of two westbound lanes of I-70 was shut down for nearly half the day as crews dealt with it. That's the reason so many people were stuck in the multiple hour traffic backup that stretched all the way from the bottom of Floyd Hill to Evergreen. And the status of that hole is at least in part still there. That's why crews are still out here. Now, throughout the afternoon, CDOT has told us they expect these repairs to be completed by sometime late tonight and that they did not originally anticipate this causing any kind of problems or issues for the early morning ski traffic. They told us originally six to seven hours at around noon, then two to four hours around maybe two in the afternoon. So at least by those estimations, they should be wrapping up soon. We haven't seen a whole lot of movement or activity other than just kind of hearing what they're doing. Stay with Denver 7 specifically online as soon as CDOT gives the all clear for this construction project to be done and traffic to once again flow. We will let you know as well. For now reporting live along I-70, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.